Yes. So, so my topic today, um, we talked about, or we've talked about this before, real estate, if you're in real estate, one of the things that happens is real estate is very um, volatile. Is that, is that the word? Up and down? Yeah. Okay. Volatile, meaning it can change, um, you know, all the time. So there's not really any constant real estate, meaning, which I love. I mean, there's a hectic aspect to it, which I like the, the you know, the uncertainty of every day, the change in, you know, the day's always changing. But with that comes, you know, you go in what I want to call slumps, meaning that you go, you have ups, you have downs. And early in my career, I, you know, I didn't, was, wasn't doing a lot of deals. So I would do a deal here. And then it might be when I was first starting, it could be a couple months. And then I get my second deal and it could be a couple months. And then eventually it was, I'm getting a deal every six weeks. And then I was getting a deal every month. And then it was a deal every three weeks. And now it's gotten to the point where I'm having a deal about a week right now. So, but what happens is there's certain times that you get in what I call like a slump. Mm -hmm. And I'm always one that if, cause, cause you can get down on yourself in real estate. Cause really there's nobody to point to but yourself. Cause you're an independent contractor. You can blame whoever, but you have to take accountability and say, okay, if something's not going correctly, what, what needs to be done? Do I need to do something different or do I just need to keep doing what I'm doing and just kind of weather the storm and then come out on the other side, you know, fine. Um, I've faced this my entire career and anybody that's in real estate can 100% agree with me on this. I, I doubt any person that's in real estate will say, no, I'm always having deals come through and it's, it's super consistent. So there's weeks where I could put, I mean, I think my best week ever, I had five, six or seven deals in one week put together. Nice. And I've also gone, you know, right now, I was staying kind of in a slump. I, over the last three weeks or so, I don't think I put anything on my life. I don't think I put anything under contract, but I had two fall apart deals that I ended up selling different homes to. So really it was like two went under, but they went off. So I kind of look at that as kind of like a net yeah. net zero, meaning I haven't had anything over that. And I always look at, you know, for me being one deal a week, yes, I might miss a week here or there, but to, for me to go majority of the month and not put anything under contract, cause I was like, man, well, what's wrong? What am I doing wrong? Am I not putting enough time in certain aspects? So then it makes me look kind of like a, you know, a deep dive at myself and try to figure out what the heck's going wrong. Am I yeah. doing something that, I, or can I do something to improve? But I always look at it too. A lot of the times I look at it, I'm like, I'm doing the right things and I just have to be patient. Meaning mm -hmm. don't force it. Don't get down on myself. Don't, don't, um, you know, look at myself as a failure because I didn't do what I needed to do over the last two or three weeks. And I've accomplished a lot over two to three weeks. It might not just be something came together. The other thing though, over nine years that I found is real estate is a bottleneck a lot of times is you do all this work, all this work and nothing happens. And all of a sudden there's just, it, you know, the bottle cap flies off and all these deals come together. And then you kind of sit there and you go, ah, oh, it wasn't that bad. And I think today is like the first glimmer of hope where I think I might, um, potentially be out of the slump. So, um, it's one of those, but same thing. It, it, you just can't get down on yourself if things, and this is kind of true in life or anything else. If you're, if there's a negative or something's not going your way, like don't, don't sit there and, think that you're a failure. Don't, don't look at the negative aspect. Always look at the, to me, always try to find the positive, like the silver lining and everything is, there's something good can come out of every situation. So I find just, if you are kind of in a slump, you know, just keep plugging, be patient. Everything, I'm a big believer in things work out the way they should and everything's gonna work out at the end. So um, I'm hoping that rings true. It, it's it really never failed me. I've always mm -hmm. done that through my career. Even when times were really, really tough where I was like, God, I really need stuff to close. Um, I was still was patient and didn't freak out and still kept, you know, basically I talked a lot about having, you know, faith in yourself, even if it's kind of blind faith that you just have a belief in yourself that you're going to overcome whatever the challenge or obstacle may be. So that's my topic is breaking the slump.